Today, we'll explain what carnivorous plants eat and how they digest their prey. So, let's get started. What types of carnivorous plants exist? Carnivorous plants have a unique way of getting their food, which mainly consists of insects. So depending on how they capture their prey, we can identify three different types of carnivorous plants. Snap traps. In this process, the plant closes its leaves, trapping the insect inside when it touches the inner surface. It attracts insects by releasing nectar, and the leaves close when the insect touches them at least twice to avoid confusion with raindrops. Pitfall traps. These plants use nectar to attract insects, and when the insects come close, they get stuck in the sticky glue that the plant produces. Flypaper traps. These plants have leaves shaped like jars that fill with water when it rains or with dew. When an insect is drawn in by the nectar, it gets trapped and drowns in the water. How do carnivorous plants digest their prey? Once the insect is caught, how do carnivorous plants digest and feed on it? The answer is simple, enzymes. Enzymes are proteins made by the cells of living organisms, including humans. They act as catalysts and help regulate the chemical reactions in the body. When ants, flies, mosquitoes or spiders are trapped inside a carnivorous plant, it starts to release enzymes that slowly break down and digest the insect. At the same time, other glands in the plant work to absorb the nutrients released by the enzymes. We also need to mention pitcher-shaped plants. While these structures catch and kill insects that fall into them, recent studies show they contain many bacteria and microorganisms that help decompose the insects. Enzymes then finish the digestion process, allowing the plant to absorb the nutrients. It's important to note that this digestion process is very slow. Humans can digest a meal in six to eight days, but a fly may take more than two weeks to be digested by a carnivorous plant. Where do carnivorous plants live? There are many species of carnivorous plants, with about 630 types that feed on insects. These plants can be found in various places, but they have specific needs to grow. Carnivorous plants thrive in swampy areas, particularly those with low nitrogen levels and acidic soil. They grow in these nutrient-poor environments because they cannot get enough food from the soil, which led them to develop unique ways of obtaining nutrients like hunting insects. While they naturally occur in the wild, it's possible to create the right conditions to grow them at home, and many people enjoy cultivating them. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more animal videos like this. Until next time.